Hey, how's it going guys? Fox Racing, welcome back to the channel today. I hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. Um, it's the end of the weekend, you know. Um, look, guys, I just wanted to upload this video. Um, I want to talk about, you know, what took place, you know, back um, in 2020 where, you know, at one point, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, California decided to come up, uh, well, they passed the legislation, which is the AB5, right? And um, at one point, um, it was back and forth, and eventually, um, you know, all the gig apps, uh, including Uber, Lyft, you know, they kept defying the state of California and not wanted to pay into the unemployment benefit for the drivers at that point. And then, you know, what they did is they came up with this local ballot in California, which is Prop 22, and eventually, uh, the voters voted yes to keep the drivers as independent contractors, right? So at that point, you know, it's still like Uber, they're not out of the woods and, and they're not going to get away with it, especially for not uh, having, you know, for not uh, adhering to rules and regulation and not wanting to contribute to, to driver's employment benefit you know, or the, to, to the state taxes, you know? So, um, and in, 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 in Europe, you know, now, now Europe, it's united. It's, it's EU, right? European Union, right? So, so there in, in London, and I'm sure there's a lot of places that Uber is having a problem uh, because now um, they're not adhering to uh, the uh, rules in, in, in Europe. So obviously, uh, at this point in London, all the drivers are actually employees, right? Um, so here, basically, um, I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, I could, you know, you, you guys don't have any clue and be careful what you're wishing for, you know? Be careful what you're wishing for because being an employee, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, regulation that you have to follow. There's a lot of things that being an employee you have to adhere to, you know, especially like waking up in the morning. Let's see as independent contractor because I'm, I'm, I'm an employee myself, you know, guys, and I can tell you for a fact, that it's not a game you know as being an being an employee um you would have to be on time to work um you have to follow all the rules um being on time and then eventually but obviously as an employee you might be entitled to some disemployment benefit you know as a sick leave time off um maybe some uh, health benefit health benefit doesn't come cheap they you still have to pay out of pocket you know although as an employee most of employers they pay most of your insurance um your, your health your health benefit insurance you know as far as i know but uh when it comes to you know like if something happened obviously if you let off you might be able to claim your employment benefit but then you know you only could claim a certain amount of time and then eventually you would have to go back and start looking for another job anyway uh so look guys um being an employee it's not a game you know it's not a game and i know I've, i'm an employee myself and i can tell you the truth that this is not uh something that you could just wake up in the morning at five o'clock right um and you're supposed to be at five o'clock at your employer so you could take over the shift and then you will say okay i'm not going i'm gonna go back to sleep you know versus being an independent contractor you know you wake up at five o'clock in the morning and you say okay you know i could decide whether i wanted to go to work or just get some more sleep and then you could go out whenever or you could just call off a day you don't want to be going so just go back the next day and, and do your work because as an independent contractor you have that flexibility you know you could go out do you do whatever go back home you can work whenever you want turn your car on turn it off nobody's going to tell you uh, how to do your job you know so um at this point you know um i'm just wanted to uh, to upload this video guys you know because obviously I, I myself, as an, as an employee right now, um, I have to be at work at a certain time. Um, there's only, uh, you could get time off, you know, because obviously it's here as, as, an, as an employee, right? As, as an independent contractor, right? You could, you could stop, you know, to turn off your car, go have some food, or you decided to go home. No, as an employee, you would have to clock in. Uh, they give you 40 minutes um, for your, um, for your lunch and then you have to go back and and obviously as as a ride chair even as a gig as as a food delivery person you know if, if you're an employee then then once you once you're on the job you're on the job you cannot say that i'm not taking this 
this this ride. I'm not taking this delivery because it comes that that job comes live and it comes in automatically to your to your to your driver app, whatever. And you have to take that because you have no choice. You cannot decline it. You cannot say, okay, I'm canceling this ride. There is no option in the app that tells you, okay, I want to cancel this ride. I'm not taking this ride. When I'm not taking this food for delivery because it costs two dollars or two fifty. You would have to take whatever that comes in through your app as an employee and I'm experiencing it myself you know what I'm saying so I'm 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 actually you know experienced both world you know be being actually an independent contractor and and an employee at the same time so guys um, it's a joke if someone um, because the fact that uh, some people have a grudge and they have animosity against these apps because they worked for them and they couldn't be successful at what they do and they're going after these these apps and and obviously these apps and this gig economy apps they they're here you know to make money they could care less about you uber's got a ton of money to spend if dara recently came out and said okay they could afford all this employment benefit for the drivers yes they can it's easy you know it's easy it's not just because they have so many drivers you know all they're gonna do maybe they're gonna analyze the thing you know maybe get rid of the lazy drivers and keep the people that they want to keep as as employees right and then it's easy for them you know honestly I don't know why uh, at this point the uber and the gig economy and the and the delivery apps are all resistant to this employment benefit for the driver because it, it it's it's no brainer you know and and Daryl you know because the fact that he came out and claimed that the fact that he has no alternative you know and they could afford to have you know to offer this employment benefit for the drivers because they can you know what I'm saying so I've you know it, it, it business is business you know if you're not in in a business then you cannot make those decisions you know um yeah there's so many alternatives uber lyft and get kind of me at this point they trying to dodge the states the, they trying to dodge all these uh, um the government uh, the government um uh, rules but eventually they have to give in like they 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 give in to to london and they had to actually re uh, turn the drive to reclassify the drivers into em employees which is easy for them you know if i were if i were me and i was the ceo of uber i would have turned the drivers all to employees and then i have control of them you see what i'm talking about like i like like i'm driving for a rival a rival has control of me because they give me job and it comes automatically through my app and i have to take it i cannot cancel it do anything you see what i'm saying it's part of um it's 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 just how the model of being employee i just don't understand if some people don't understand or they don't know the definition between being an employee and is this an, an independent contractor or maybe they've never been an employee in the past you know so guys i just wanted to tell you i know there's a few circles online you know they talk but they talk out of their their behind and they have no clue what it's like because it's either they have issues with these apps you know and and honestly uh if 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 today uh, Uber, Lyft, and, and, and food delivery apps turn drivers into employees. Trust me, at two hundred percent. Next day or following week, all of them they want to turn and and refer to become uh, uh, as independent contractor, which is never gonna happen. Once they reverse this, you become an employee. An employee, an event didn't happen. You get laid off, and obviously. Um, I'm just saying because I'm an employee myself and I'll tell you exactly what it is and I have no problem with it You know uh, only people that don't have no sense. They don't make no sense and they have no low IQ is the one that they um, They don't understand the difference between be, being an employee uh, independent contractor or maybe they just uh, don't have any formal education, you know, in order for them to for them to differentiate between uh, two elements, you know. Here, I'm like I said, you know, I'm just wanted to upload this video, guys, to tell you exactly what it's like. I'm in it. I'm in the situation where I'm actually an employee, so I can tell you exactly what it's like. So, guys, be careful what you're wishing for, because obviously, once you turn in employees, you guys gonna have to be there on time get all the job that comes in through your app and you cannot cancel you cannot say i'm not working you cannot wake up in the morning and says i'm not gonna go to work i'm just gonna call off today no you have to be at work and be on time and and whatever they give you you have to take it and do it you know whether it's dollar food delivery or two dollars and if you don't they will fire you quick fast 
guys um i just this is my take you know honestly i just wanted to rant a little bit and and you guys comment in my section below you know you could you know where you guys want to be or you guys want to be an employee or you want to be an independent contractor for me you know i would definitely want to be an independent contractor because i could drive my car drive whenever i want you know but i'm i'm enjoying both worlds right now as an employee independent contractor i'm going to tell you what it's like and it's really explained to you you know being an, as an employee so you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend it's only if you few hours left of this weekend um hopefully guys you uh you know you have hopefully you guys uh you know have hopefully guys you having good uh you know new year's eve so far near you know the beginning of this near year so far so guys uh enjoy the rest of the weekend um i'll talk to you soon and god bless united states of america take care guys bye